Recapping our newscast this hour, after accusations of inaction, lawmakers, advocates, and families got to make their case for six fentanyl-related bills in the Assembly Public Safety Committee. Karma Dickerson breaks down which bills are one step closer to law and which are going nowhere for now. to end drug abuse and most important, fentanyl death. Assembly Public Safety Committee Chair Reggie Jones-Sawyer reiterated that sentiment at Thursday's hearing for six fentanyl-related bills. The debate remains on how best to do that. I can't support any measures today that feel like aimless patchwork solutions rooted in failed strategies of the past when the people are calling for comprehensive and innovative solutions. With most committee members arguing that stiffer penalties result in more people in jail, but doesn't deal with drug addiction, intervention, and demand, as was evidenced in the crack cocaine epidemic. And others, including bill sponsors, arguing that fentanyl is uniquely dangerous and harsher penalties should be part of the solution. I think we can attack this on two different fronts, the education and the consequences as well. With the Democrat Majority Assembly Public Safety Committee generally leaning away from proposals that would increase penalties surrounding fentanyl, they voted to keep three bills moving through the legislature. AB 675, making fentanyl possession with an operable firearm a felony. AB 474, tasking the State Threat Assessment Center with helping to stop drug trafficking. And AB 33, creating a fentanyl addiction and overdose task force. AB 955, which would make selling fentanyl via social media a crime was referred to interim study, allowing the matter to be revisited in May. The committee did not pass AB 367, which would have allowed increased prison time for people selling or giving away fentanyl to someone who suffers a serious injury from it. Nor did they pass AB 1058, which would have made possession of an ounce or more of fentanyl a felony. They are fooling themselves if they think that uh, 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 an easy soft touch on dealers that are knowingly lacing these things with, with fentanyl, selling them out on the streets, getting away with it. What kind of signal does that send to the moms and to the families that, that, are, that are killed? That was Karma Dickerson reporting. The Bakersfield Police Department is working with Bakersfield Recovery Services to raise awareness of the fentanyl epidemic. They're holding an educational event at 11 a.m. Saturday at the Fox Theater in downtown Bakersfield. The Recovery Center will be on site to de demonstrate how to administer Narcan. Attendees will also learn how to identify fentanyl, what to do if someone is poisoned with the drug, and what services are available. Bakersfield Police Chief Greg Terry and Assemblymember Jasmine Baines will lead the the discussion.